After centuries as the preferred way to shave, why did men stop using straight razors? Despite their appearance, even cavemen were using primitive razors that somewhat resembled a straight edge. Although they were made from clamshells or shark teeth, not metal. The ancient Romans later adopted a similar model, consisting of a cutting edge attached to a handle. Again, not unlike a modern straight edge razor, called a noachila, although to us, they look more like brass knuckles. We wouldn't recommend trying them today. The straight edge razor that we know today likely originated in England in the 1600s, where high end models employed bone, horn, or ivory for the grip. Soon, straight edge razors became the preferred method of shaving for distinguished gentlemen throughout the 1700s. Even the USA's founding fathers refused to go into battle without a proper shave. Their prominence came to an end, however, with the invention of the safety razor in the United States in the 1880s by the Kampf brothers. It simplified and made the shaving process efficient and much more convenient, being extremely similar to today's safety razors. As World War I increased the necessity of a clean-shaven face, as soldiers had to wear their gas masks and facial hair was thought to be in the way. Time and convenience were everything. And most soldiers grew to prefer the safety razor after they came home from war. Inventor and businessman King Camp Gillette capitalized on this trend, forming a self-named company that enjoys a near monopoly on the shaving industry today. Although straight razor shaving continued to be the preferred method of shaving for barbers and shaving enthusiasts as a luxury. And while inventions have been made to make the straight razor more travel friendly and functional, it's never regained the ubiquity that it once had in the 1700s. Here's our thinking as to why. Safety reasons. It's no secret that straight razors can be potentially fatal if used incorrectly. Since the blade is so sharp, it requires much more finesse to handle safely. And while a safety razor might give you some nicks or some skin irritation, a wrong move with a straight razor could send you to the emergency room. It should be said that modern straight razors have more safety features than their historical counterparts, such as using carbon steel or stainless steel. So the risk of a rusting blade or the dangers from a infection from a cut are much lower, but they'll never have the same safety features of a safety razor. It's in the name after all. Intimidating. Holding a straight razor can sometimes feel like holding a big sharp knife to your throat which isn't that far from reality. Given that this extra sharp blade is next to some sensitive and vulnerable areas, it can be unsettling to learn to use effectively, as a mishap will make for a very painful lesson for the shaver. Before alternatives were developed, men had to learn how to use a straight razor if they wanted to shave, so they had a pretty good incentive to conquer their fears and study the blade. But modern gents have other options. This intimidation factor makes it easy to understand why most men would think it's not even worth considering, especially when compared to a more approachable safety razor. Straight razors are called cutthroat razors for a reason. And finish this ruse! <laughs> Learning curve. It's no secret that cartridge razors are fairly easy to use, and the method most of us are most familiar with. Though it's not as simple as Ockham's razor, it doesn't take much to grasp. And while double-edged safety razor shaving takes practice to master the strokes to get a safe and efficient shave, the process can be learned fairly quickly. And with practice, you'll soon be shaving like a pro, with only some irritation and the occasional cut. Straight razors relatively require more skill to master. Since the margin of error is thinner, razor thin you might say, and requires more time for shavers to get even decent at handling the basics. While you're relatively unlikely to do serious damage while shaving with a modern straight razor, it doesn't always feel like that when you're a newbie, holding that big shiny razor up to your neck for the first time. And you can expect considerably more irritation, cuts, and nicks. When learning to shave with a straight razor, as opposed to a cartridge or safety razor. Professionals who learn how to offer straight razor shaves often have to study for hours and receive certification. Barbers often train by shaving a balloon and preventing it from popping. Needless to say, this illustrates how easy it is to cut yourself when using these tools and why mastery is required. We say this not to intimidate you, but to emphasize that learning how to straight razor shave requires so much effort. You can see why men prefer the simpler alternatives. Inconvenient. Beyond the act of shaving with a straight razor, there's a considerable amount of prep work required. A straight razor has to be sharpened with a process known as stropping, wherein the razor is sharpened before every use on a refining surface usually a strip of leather called a strop. Microscopic burrs are present along the cutting edge of the razor blade, and they can essentially crack if the blade is overutilized. It's best to let burrs rest for 24 to 48 hours between shaves. This will help reduce damage to the blade, which isn't very convenient for men with fast growing facial hair that need to shave multiple times a day. Plus you then have the additional step of cleaning the blade after use and sometimes the strop after use to keep it in pristine shape, just like you occasionally need to have hunting and kitchen knives sharpened. Razors must be honed after regular use, 
which means sharpened with special tools beyond the strop. You can do this yourself or pay a professional to do it, but be aware that incorrect honing can ruin the blade entirely. So you have to do it correctly. In fact, the straight razor's blade is so fragile that dropping it can make it severely damaged, making it the ultimate glass cannon and further contributing to the perception that straight razor shaving is a considerable hassle. Additional products. Given that the straight razor is a more indulgent way to shave in a modern context, the experience is best completed with a quality shaving cream brushes, shaving soap, lathers, and other products. In fact, shaving with a straight razor is almost impossible and potentially dangerous without proper pretreatment, leading to more expensive and an elaborate process to open and prepare your pores. As opposed to using shaving gels or even a dry shave when using a product like a double-edged safety or electric razor. Plus you need special tools and services unique to that of a straight razor, such as the aforementioned strop acid-free oil for cleaning and disinfecting the blade, and honing tools to keep the blade in pristine shape, although you can send out blades to be honed by professional companies, at the price of additional cost and time. Time constraints, factoring in the additional setup, special tools and procedures, and careful attention to detail while shaving. It'll often take 20 to 30 minutes to fully experience as modern day society places such an emphasis on convenience above all else. It's not surprising that the considerably more efficient double-edged or cartridge razor products supplanted the methodical straight edge razor. Most modern shavers are okay with an adequate quality shave that only takes a couple of minutes over a superb one that takes a half hour to complete. How many of us can focus on anything for a half hour uninterrupted anyways? So unless someone loves the art of shaving, they will probably just opt for what is fastest. Perhaps that's why many men view a straight razor shave as a treat reserved for special occasions. Hard to find. As straight razors have fallen out of favor, there's also the practical fact that few stores physically stock straight razors anymore. Most consumers have to rely on online retailers which can make assessing quality difficult because there's considerable hype around straight edge razor shaving as a concept. Some unscrupulous companies sell inferior straight edge razors. They look the part, but they don't actually function well. And the only thing more dangerous than a straight razor is a poorly made straight razor, harder to travel with. Given that a straight razor uses more product and can't be stored as easily, it's harder to travel with the other creams and lather. And given how little space we can have when on the road, it makes it a more inconvenient method on the go. If flying, you'll also have to pack the straight edge razor in your checked luggage because you can't have edged implements in the airplane cabin, which is a hassle for those who prefer carry-on luggage only. Granted, you can't take DE safety razors in the cabin either, but you can bring your razor itself. And wherever you are going, you can probably find DE razor blades available for cheap, which is definitely not the case for straight edge razors. Perceptions. The way these razors are perceived also had an impact. Straight razors are almost exclusively seen in Hollywood films and historic period pieces, and is usually going to be perceived as an antiquated, backwards way to shave. You don't bathe like a 17th century brigand, why would you shave like one? They've been depicted as deadly weapons in some circumstances, which only contributes to the perception that they can't be used safely. Outside of these old fashioned settings, straight edge razors are rarely seen because modern advertising focuses on safety and cartridge razors. And thus many men have never been exposed to a straight razor as a modern shaving tool, let alone used one. Should men use straight razors today? The appeal of a straight razor today won't be for everyone, but if you value your grooming highly and love the ritual of shaving, it's a great option. The enthusiasts of straight razors often claim that the results are always superior, hence why many specialty barbers today opt for using them. Check out this guide if you're interested in experiencing straight edge razor shaving for yourself. The process can also be quite therapeutic and give you some much needed me time. Whether this process is done by yourself, professional barber, or a fellow MI6 agent, and can be a fun process to engage in occasionally, even if you don't do so consistently. We think it's something everyone should try at least once in their lifetime, and you can decide which option is better for you from there. Ultimately, there's a lot of reasons as to why men stopped using straight razors. And there's a reason why safety razors have come to dominate the industry. It could definitely be argued that, in many ways, safety razors represent a massive improvement from straight razors. Hey, the old fashioned way isn't always better. With that being said, there's still a place for straight razors in a modern context. In fact, there's a whole subculture around the practice and it can be something of a hobby to get into. How often do you use a straight razor or have a straight razor experience from a barber? Let us know in the comments. Today I'm wearing a three piece navy pinstripe suit with brown dress shoes, brown dress socks, my blue dress shirt, and finishing off the outfit, I have the Roberto Ugolini fragrance high heel white and of course a white pocket square from Fort Belvedere with a pink trim on the inside.